And new tonight, this week, a homeowner actually caught a burglar in the act. And that homeowner is a Delaware County Sheriff's deputy. Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Renovich went to Muncie, where the deputy and the intruder recognized each other at the crime scene. Police say right near these tracks, right in the middle of the day, a convicted felon targeted the wrong place for a crime. He did pick the wrong house. A house on West Jackson Street that belongs to a Delaware County Reserve deputy. He forgot his wallet at lunch Wednesday and ended up catching an intruder. On the van, I noticed my front door was open and the windows were busted out of it. Um, so obviously means there's people in the house. It ended up being somebody that I knew. A guy he recognized from high school, 34-year-old Daryl McCallum. Kanatzer says when he yelled for him to get out, McCallum recognized him too. He put his hands up and said, Mark, I didn't steal anything. And I said, you know, to myself, I'm thinking, of course you didn't because I just stopped you in the act. If I had not come home, uh, probably be wiped out. The deputy says he chased McCallum and called 911. Minutes later, a canine officer was after him. The dog's first call on his final day of training. Investigators say the chase lasted a couple blocks, came down through here, and that's when the bad guy made another bad decision, his choice of hiding place. He did pick the wrong hiding spot, which I take a little bit of pleasure in. He was hiding in the pickup truck bed um, of what happened to be another Muncie City Cops house. A police officer's truck after allegedly trying to burglarize a sheriff's deputy's house. Investigators say McCallum admitted to the crime once he was caught by that canine and said he did it because of his addiction to heroin. That drives you know, people to do things that they shouldn't do. McCallum already had burglary convictions. Investigators say he could be linked to 20 different break-ins, including this one targeting an officer of the law. Jenny Runovich, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.